Hey there, in this video I'll give you a brief information about IGCAC past papers and the most recent changes in the IGCAC syllabus components. Well, first of all, you need to download the IGCAC past papers and you can download them from CIE.org UK, that is the official website for the examinations. But there will be only a few uh, sessions of uh, past paper. Well, you can download the past papers from alternative websites such as extremepapers.com. You can find the exam papers of different examination boards. And our examination board is a CIE and qualification will be either IGCAC or A-levels. Once you've downloaded the past papers, you'll see that the IGCAC past paper files have specific file naming. Now, let's now decode this file naming. It will be very useful and very convenient for you if you know what the file name refers to. Let me just write a bigger version of it. 0610 underscore S09 QP underscore 2 PDF file. So what is it all supposed to mean? Well, first of all, 0610 refers to the syllabus code. Every syllabus, every subject has a code and 0610 is the code for biology. Right. And here this S means summer. You know that examinations are carried out twice a year in May June session right which is a summer session or in October November which is the winter session and 09 is the year of the examination that's 2009 QP means question paper is there any other alternative oh yes of course look at these file naming MS meaning marking scheme right or sy here which means syllabus and the last number two is a component it's a component code which means in this case paper two well IGCAC examinations consist of several components and particularly the IGCAC biology consists of three components one is a multiple choice paper the other one is a structured paper the written paper and the third one is either the coursework practical or alternative to practical paper there had been a change starting with 2010 look at the file naming there is 21 and 22 and 23 well these 21 22 and 23 they're all paper 2 but version 1 version 2 version 3 Cambridge divided different parts of the world into zones and each of these paper is an alternative version of that same component so they're basically the same component paper 2 so let's assume that you downloaded the past paper and started working with the past paper and one of the most efficient way of working with past paper is actually working with a marking scheme and how would you find the correct marking scheme for a particular question well every single question paper down the page has a code let's decode this code this number is the syllabus code which is again biology 0610 is biology okay but um, the, the code for the component and the, for the year has just swapped so the one in the end is the year so year 2013 okay and this is paper 3 the component paper which is paper 3 version and MJ so instead of writing S for summer MJ stands for May June the summer sessions by the code written at the bottom part of each page in the question booklet you can easily find the correct marking scheme that you can study with can we change the IGCC science uh, subjects syllabus components 
so far till now paper one was a multiple choice paper and this multiple choice paper was for both core and extended students paper two was a structured paper the written paper for core candidates and paper three was a structured paper for extended candidates paper four five I skip we give paper six which is alternative to practical paper which is also common for core and extended well starting with summer 2016 can be changed the syllabus components for IGCSE science subjects well basically uh, there's no more common multiple choice paper they have separate multiple choice papers the paper one is the multiple choice for core and paper two is a multiple choice for extended this basically shifts the number of components which makes paper three the structured paper for core and paper four is the structured paper for extended paper six remains this and paper six is the alternative to practical paper no change it's for core and extended candidates well the IGCC candidates in the old system the core candidates used to take paper one paper two paper six and the extended candidates used to take paper one three and six well in the new system the core candidates take paper one paper three and paper six and the extended candidates take paper two paper four and paper six why is this particular information important well since the past papers and the marking schemes are an important essential study tool for the ISIS candidates the great majority of your past paper resources are old before 2016 so you need to know this difference if you are an extended candidate and if you're looking for paper 4 in the past papers you wouldn't be able to find the structured paper it's, it will be a, a, a different paper so it is important to know this particular information as you study with the past paper tools thank you very much